Hey everyone, in this FIFA 23 How to Get Position Modifiers cheap video, I'm going to show you two methods. One may expire, which is why I'm giving you two, not one, but two for your amusement. Okay, so here we go. The first one is currently in squad building challenges and you can trade in a single bronze player for a position modifier. That's pretty cool. So um, let's have a little look at this. So squad building challenges, you'll find this one hidden away over in upgrades. So use right button on the Xbox or R1 on the PlayStation to go over to upgrades and then have a little look on here uh, all the way over. Just keep going all the way over. Come on, come on. So many, so many. Oh, I actually went past it. There it is. Position modifier upgrade. Now check it out. We jump into here with A or X on the PlayStation. And it says player quality. Look above, look above. Minimum bronze. Number of players in the squad, one. So you could use any bronze player for this. Anyone. It says a minimum though. So you could accidentally trade in Ronaldo <laughs> for a position modifier. Do not do that. Pay attention. Concentrate. Think about this, very important. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to uh, our club, and then when we're here, we're gonna use our filters. So I've just gone right button to go over to club, that'll be R1 on the PlayStation. And when you're here, do not use, like Insigni, that would be the most silly move you could ever do. What you wanna do is hit search, so down the bottom left-hand side, Y for me, triangle on the PlayStation. And then under quality, pick bronze common. Okay, so I'm hitting A to select that. It's a different button. Look down the bottom left. Uh, X on the PlayStation. When you've done that, hit Y to search again or triangle on the PlayStation. You will see all of your bronze players. But it gets better, my friends. You don't have to use Borges Sanchez and lose his 63 power. <laughs> you can go all the way down. Go and find who is your most rubbish player. Mine is Moro. I'm sorry, Moro. But you're only 55 in FIFA 23. You've got to buck your ideas up, my friend. you got to get going. Get going. Get, get better. I want to see you at least 56 in EA Sports FC 24. <laughs> so we're going to use Morrow. So we select him with A. And then at left button or L1 on the PlayStation. Back to this screen here and press A again. Sorry, that would be X on the PlayStation. Hooray! We have completed this mighty squad building challenge. You can see above we now have a magnificent submit button bar and for me that's the menu button i hit that it says i'm going to exchange my squad my morrow my 55 rated power player for a position modifier and you may go is that a good deal or is it not man would i be better off buying one i'm going to show you that in just a second so we do that we submit the squad and pow, pow we've got the position modifier upgrade all right we've completed this mighty squad building challenge. You've also done a squad building challenge there, which will help with any objectives that you've got that are counting towards squad building challenges. So you've got that, you've got your position modifier. You can then either confirm the item or quick sell it. I'm not sure, I don't know, it's not gonna be worth anything, it's untradeable, so you can't use this to generate money. So we'll go a right trigger to confirm the items we have a position modifier. The good news is you could just keep repeating this. You can have five, it looks like every four hours, uh, so pretty cool. So you can get loads of them. This expires in 52 days. Okay, so this this method is good for 52 days from uploader. Right, so what about if it is 52 days late and I'm too lazy to adjust the video, which is quite possible because I make a lot of videos and I will probably forget unless somebody drops me a comment and go, hey man, make a new video. If trouble's going to be FIFA 23, going to be gone, man. You're going to be gone. I'll be going to be on EA Sports SD24. So what do you do? What do you do if you get here and you go, that's gone? Well, you're going to be stuck with the old method, which is to go to transfers, jump into here and go to transfer market. And then you want to be looking at consumable. So RB on the top bar or R1 on the PlayStation, consumable type select A. And when you are here, here is the magnificent position modifier. Uh, when you've got the position modifier, you can search and some fools will ask you for 3000 coins. 4,700 coins. Do not pay this. Go back one. Go to the pricing. Go to your max buy it now and then use right button or R1 to pump it up to about 2,200 and let's just see what comes up. We still have loads of choice. So let's go back again with the back button and we'll lower that again. So let's go down to 1,800. Still loads. What a bargain. I've gone too far again. So let's go again. I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to go for 900. Oh, nothing. Too cheeky. 950, too cheeky. 1000, cheeky. 1100, cheeky. Look at it. So that other method is saving you a lot of money because look at the cheapest thing that we can find is 
Oh my goodness. There you go. 1700 is the cheapest position modifier at the minute. So you could then go actions here with A and then choose either bid or buy it now. So if you buy it now, you will get it there and then. I'm not going to do that because I just got one for my mighty bronze player. Last thing we want to cover in this video is how to apply a position modifier. Well, let's go to our squad. I'll just show you exactly how that would happen. What you're looking for, if you pick any player, yes, I was doing a squad build, not squad build and challenge, a moments thing involving Liverpool players. I've got two pants Liverpool players here who aren't even Liverpool players. I, th I think we've sent them both back, but whatever. Let's say we want to look at Arta and move his position. So what you want to be looking at here is if we have a little look on the player uh, details, I think it is. Let's have a little look. We want to see whether he has got an alternative position, and indeed he does. So I've done, uh, actually I should say how I've got there, shouldn't I? That would be useful. So we go uh, right, but right stick button to go to this page, and then a right button or R1 on the PlayStation to go to player details, and you see preferred position CM, alternative position CDM. So if I wanted to change Arta to a CDM, we come back out of here, and then down the bottom you see it says actions. For me that's X, that'd be square on the PlayStation. We go there and then we go to apply consumable with the left stick and press A or X on the PlayStation. And here we've got all these different things. What you wanna do is go over to positioning. You can see I've got 40 such position modifier cards already. So I have so many of them. I'm, I'm rich in position modifiers. And this will change him. So I go, do I wanna do it? Do I really wanna turn him to a CDM? Just for your viewing pleasures, my friends. Here we go. CDM. He is now going to be out of position in that formation I had, but we have changed him to a CDM. There we go. You can see now he shows a CDM. We are done, my friends. We have done it. I hope this video entertained you. If it did, give me a round of applause like this, but I'm not going to hear you. So you better give me a little comment, a little thumbs up would be much better. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did hit that subscribe, I will be covering more FIFA 23 up to EA Sports FC 24. Then I will be going crazy crazy on fc24 videos when fc24 launches it is pre-ordered my friends we are going to get on it thanks so much for watching